Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about how to create the container using the uh, with a volume mount using the hyphen hyphen mount option. So now we can know that we can create a container. We can create a container with a volume mount using two options. That is hyphen V option and also another option is also there. That is nothing but hyphen hyphen mount option. So now so to create a container with a volume mount using the hyphen hyphen mount option, you can use the following Docker command. The hyphen hyphen mount option provides more flexible way to mount volumes compared to the older hyphen V option. So now here is the example which we can create it. So here this is the command. So now normally the command will be docker container run hyphen D and you will try to give the name of this one my container anything whatever the thing you want you can give it. And here you will be creating hyphen hyphen mount option and this is an off and mount option all the things will be a key value pair so first one you need to mention the type of wiring whether it is a bind, bind mount or a volume mount so type is equal to volume and you need to keep a comma so source so you need to give the source source means nothing but the volume so if it is so here you will be giving nginx siphon data now let's try to give the target so what is the target you want to give so target will be nothing but user slash share slash nginx slash html so whatever the thing you are having and that's it and now, now you will be giving the like this nginx so this is how we will be creating here docker run hyphen d means the container runs in a detached mode so this one you know and hyphen hyphen name my container means use the container a new a name and hyphen hyphen mount type is equal to volume source is equal to so like this we have already given right so it mounts a docker volume named nginx hyphen data to the user slash something directory inside the container and the last one nginx is nothing but the image name so this is the name of the ima docker image used to create the container so here if you try to see the explanation of this one all so type is equal volume is specifies that you are mounting a docker volume other possible types are bind tempfs like this we can use it and the next one is the source is equal to nginx data so specifies the name of the docker volume to be mounted and uh, and the last one is the target so app slash sorry slash user slash nginx html we have unit right specifies the path inside the container where the volume will be mounted <clears throat> if you want if you need to create a volume first means you can use something like docker volume create and you can use it so this is the syntax for this docker thing and if you want to create a read only volume means then what you can do it is so here in the target you can keep an another comma and you can create a read only that's it so now you can create read only to create a read only volume mount using the hyphen mount option means you can add the read only flag to the mount configuration this ensures that the container can only read from the mounted volume or directory and cannot write to it that is one thing so now let's try to see the practical implementation of this one so right now what i am trying to do it is so if you try to check the docker volume ls so we don't have any draw volumes and if you try to check docker container ps a so right now we don't have any images also so sorry containers also let's try to create a container so i am creating docker container run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen container i will create the same container okay and i will use the port forwarding 8090 colon 280 and we need to give a hyphen hyphen mount option and this is the place where we need to give it so hyphen hyphen mount option first one is the type is equal to we are using the volume mount we will try to learn about the bind mount also and our type is called volume and the another one is what you need to mention is the source source is equal to nginx hyphen data so this is the volume and now right now the volume are not existing so hyphen hyphen mount will create the volume if the volume doesn't exist so now here you can create a target is equal to so the target should be slash user slash share slash nginx slash html that's it now we need to give the image name so if you try to create it automatically the container will be created so if you try to check the docker container ps and it is running state so if you want to check the status of the sorry now if you want to check whether it is application is running or not means curl 172.17.0.2 and you'll be able to see welcome to the nginx these are the things so that means the server is working fine so now let's try to modify the data inside the container so if you try to modify the data inside the container we can able to do it or not docker container exit hyphen ti nginx hyphen container and i will be using the bash let's go inside this one and uh, i will try to do cd slash user slash share slash nginx slash html okay 
I go directly into this one and I will do echo uh, container with uh, hyphen hyphen mount option just I am trying to do it so I want to save it in the index.html why because we don't have any VA or anything inside this container so that's it so now let's try to exit it and you will try to use the curl 172.17.0.2 now you will be able to see container with hyphen hyphen mount option now you will be able to see the data so that means we are we are successfully able to update the volume data container data so that means hyphen hyphen mount it works in the same way with hyphen v option now not only this one so we can also create the container with read only option also let's try to delete this container docker container rm hyphen f nginx hyphen container i have deleted this one now let's try to create the container with the same with the same name but with read only option let's try to see so uh, i will try to check the same code so yeah here right so up to here we have written it right comma and we need to provide it as a read only that's it now if you try to press enter container will be created the same thing we will try to go inside this one so i am going into the inside this one and if i try to check first i will try to exit it i will do the curl option whether we can see it or not so it is working okay the volume is mounted to this one and here i am entering into this one let's go to the cd slash user slash share slash nginx slash html i have went so i went into this one and now what i want to do it is i want to change it echo modified read only file so i am trying to do it like this and index.html if i try to do it it is telling read only file system so that means i cannot able to modify the file so this is how we can do it and now this hyphen hyphen mount option so now i can go and exit this one so docker volume ls if you try to check it here so you'll be able to see a volume is also created with the hyphen hyphen mount option why because before that we haven't created the volume automatically when we are trying to create a container the volume is already already it is creating now docker container ps hyphen a if you try to see it the docker is also has been created so sorry the container also has been created so this is how we will be using the hyphen hyphen mount option so now you may be getting doubt that what is the difference between this using with the hyphen hyphen mount option hyphen v option both are doing one and the same only right so then what is the for single execution or not for single command uh, for sorry for single uh, requirement why we are having these two types of commands so why because hyphen hyphen mount option will be used mainly when we are using the docker swam tool so when you are using when you are developing the docker uh, when you are developing the containers and all those things using the docker swam tool then hyphen v option will not be supported only the uh, hyphen hyphen mount will be supported whereas we are using docker engine right so both the hyphen v option hyphen hyphen mount option both are supported so this is the main difference between the hyphen hyphen mount and hyphen v so hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you